Hello and welcome to The Crazy Chef. This episode, we got some requests to make a fish. So we're going to do a fish today. Now, our ingredients are, we're going to have some dry thyme. Fresh dry thyme. Then, you got one lemon. Need the juice of one lemon. We got some white wine. Look at that folks, Chardonnay, one of the best. You can use something less expensive, but white wine. We got some uh, capers. Mazzetta, they're famous. They, they, they'll jar anything. And we got some, our favorite granulated garlic. Gotta have granulated garlic. Then we got some flour. Got some flour here folks. We got some breadcrumbs. And we got an egg, one egg already whisked up. And I just want to mention this as we go. This is polenta. Now, we're going to use breadcrumbs. And the reason why we're going to use breadcrumbs is how many people have polenta and just hanging around? We do because we use it in all kinds of things. But you, instead of breadcrumbs, you can use polenta, which is very interesting. Our show master this time is a fillet of tilapia, what we're going to use. Now you can use fillet of sole if you want to and you invite me, I want petrali. There's different soles but petrali is my favorite. We can use red snapper. Catfish is always good if you're down in the south in New Orleans, you got to have catfish fillet. Sand dabs. Sand dabs go good with this recipe. Swahi, or in this case, we're using tilapia. So let's go and uh, we'll show you how we're going to get it going. Okay, folks, my lovely assistant is going to show you. Can you see that? She's going to flour the fillet. We're going to give it a bath in egg, not in water because it came out of water. So we're going to give it a bath in egg. And we're going to finish it off in some nice fresh ground uh, breadcrumbs. See the way she does it? Get a nice coating on there. And that prepares our fillet. And now we're going to go to the uh, skillet and start our sauteing. Welcome to the skillet, folks. Now we've got a little bit of vegetable oil in there. We've got it heated up. Now my lovely assistant's going to put the fillet in there and we're going to put it with the breast side down the skin side up because then when we serve it we're going to turn it around so we get that sauteed as soon as it's sauteed we'll show you okay folks that's nice we're going to put that on a plate separate and now we're going to do our sauce so be ready and be careful when you do this. We're going to deglaze. We're going to deglaze slowly here. Deglaze. With white wine. We're using the white wine, folks. Make sure you don't start a fire. Nice. We'll take it off of there for a minute. Look at that. You notice how that's all nice and clean. Now, we've got that juices from the fish and the bread and the egg all deglazed. I see a little matter there. Let's get that out of there. My sister will get that out of there. A little burnt bread. Now we're going to add our other spices. Let's put in our lemon. Let's get our lemon going in there. I'll stir it. A little more lemon. Let's squeeze that lemon. Get our granulated garlic going. A little bit of thyme. And we got a nice sauce. Let me see. I got a stronger hand. Get that lemon going there. 
put our capers in there. Now if you don't like the soapness of the capers, you can wash them folks. But we've got the capers going here. I think we'll do a little more white wine. Oh yeah, looking good. Let's do some more white wine. We want white wine in here. Let's put it in there quite a bit. That's good. And we'll get that simmering, folks. Slowly, 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 we'll simmer that down. I'm going to put a little more white wine because I like white wine. And maybe a little more for the chef. There you go. Now we're cooking and we'll come back after it's been reduced a little bit. Okay, she's stirring that nice. Now a good side for, with this filet is uh, rice, nice rice, whatever rice you like. An orzo, which is a real thin small pasta, or couscous. Make a bed of that and then put your filet on top and pour the sauce over the fish and the rice, orzo, or couscous, whatever you're using. Now. If you don't like it so liquidy and you want to get it thickened up, let's get a little roux going here and I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to add a little flour to this. Now watch this. She's got to keep stirring and I'm going to add it in slowly. She's got to keep stirring and we'll thicken it up. Just a little, little roux. And you can tell already how it's thickening, folks. Nice. You got to keep stirring, otherwise you're going to get lumps. There it is, real good. I think one more will be good. But you can see how it's thickening up already. Use your imagination on how much to use. And you can use it over the fish, rice, and whatever you're using there. Even a vegetable would be good on this. See how that thickens up? When you're ready, now she's going to just dust that in there. Beautiful. Now we don't have any rice or orzo or couscous going, but uh, we have the fish. So we'll show you. You don't need a side, you can just use it like this. So now here's our fish. We got our sauce that we thickened up a little bit. And look at that folks. Look at that. Huh? With a little bit of lemon crown over here, lemon crown here. What do you have? Well you have Nonna Lucia's filet of fish. Enjoy. Dinner is being served. Jenna pronta. Let's go for it. Okay. I couldn't resist. I have to be honest with you. My assistant's going to cook up some rice, but I need to taste now. So I'm going to cut here. Beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to pull this over. I got some more sauce in the pan. And uh, I like that sauce. Let me get that. Look at that. I'm going to pour that in here. Now, if you're short on sauce and you need some more, folks, just add wine, thyme, lemon, and do the whole procedure all over again, and you have more than enough sauce. Oh, my mouth is watering. Nonna Lucia's filet of fish. Here I go. Mmm. My God. I'm going to have one more. The fish is nice and crusty, crispy on both sides. The sauce has that tang. Boy, that reminds me of the Mediterranean Sea. Let me have this one. Mm. Bon appetit.